Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, teacher. Tony, hello, good evening. How are you? Good, better? Better, teacher, thank you. Okay, that's that's nice. Okay, good. Did you finish uh, your your treatment already? Tomorrow finish. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, no more pills. No, <laughs> See, no more pills. Great. And what about the food? Are you are you eating normally? But I have sorry about the uh, food the the uh, meat is I continue to take the eat the the soup have the famous chicken soup <laughs> yes I remember <laughs> yes the whole week last the previous week chicken soup and you still continue yes. okay that's, that's good it's delicious okay good let's see uh our online uh, angel there is Angel that is connected. Hello, Angel. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. How is it going, Angel? Angel Pineda. Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, great. Uh, okay, Angel, how was your weekend? And yours uh, too, Connie. How was your weekend? Long weekend, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's only my house, teacher. Ah, okay, all right, okay. Yes. You. An angel. Yes. Yesterday is is I go the the work. I go to the work. My first. My ah okay. Day, the work. First day you come back to work. I come back my work. Yes. Yes, come back. You can use that verb, no problem. When you return to something, you can mm -hmm. use go back. Um, I return to oh. work after the weekend. You can use several verbs. <clears throat> okay, pretty good. Uh, let's see. What else, what else? Uh, you said something and I was going to tell you the way to say it. But my memory is not a good memory. It's not an elephant memory. Okay. But remember, you have to, you have to use the formula. Subject, uh, the verb, and the complement. That is in any tense. Okay, good. Let's see. Hey, it's already 8 o'clock. Okay, we are going to begin in a moment the class. <clears throat> hey. Hey guys, uh, today is the final week. How about that? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. It is, right? It's final week. It's the final week, correct? The time goes pretty fast. <clears throat> the classes only last one hour. Last is a verb, que duran. Last, durar. Classes uh, only last than one hour the model for weeks and we are about to finish that's great right isn't it yes or no great, yes. great or no great yes great both ways the lot of formas it is great Always. and it isn't yes it is and it isn't yes it no is okay guys <clears throat> let's see uh today is uh, please tell me the date the complete date Monday. All right, Monday. Mm -hmm. Month, month. Monday, sixteen. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. the month. Uh, the month is before Monday. the date. Uh, Monday, October. Month October. October. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh huh. Two thousand. In 2023. 2023. 2023. <laughs> did you did you uh, did you see the the <clears throat> the eclipse eclipse? No. Did you check it out? Could you see it? Could you? Pudo? No. Couldn't. No. It was kind of dangerous, right? 
Yes. Uh -huh. yes uh -huh. Not recommendable to no, it's use recommended. the rice. Uh -huh. See the, the, the clips. Yeah, correct. Not recommendable, but <clears throat> but there were many pictures and they were great about the clips. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for, for the date. Let's begin. Let's see who else is in class. Anna, Christina. Hello, Anna. Hey, Anna. <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I've been kind of <clears throat> kind of sick of my throat. I am still sick. Sorry. Just a moment. Ah, uh, yeah. I've been drinking amoxicillin for my throat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but not really still. Yeah, sorry, Cody. Sorry. You need to take the loratadine antihistaminic. Ah, the loratadine is for kids. <laughs> That's no, no. <laughs> it's both okay. adults and kids. All right. Okay. No strawberry flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I will try. I will try to drink. No problem. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, let's see. Oscar. Oscar Guillermo. Nice to have you in the class. Uh, Carmen. Carmen Salinas. No. You know her? She's a Mexican mm -hmm. actress. Huh? Hello, Carmen. teacher. Hello, hello. Oscar, welcome. And Erica, hello, Erica. What's up? What's going on? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How is your <clears throat> how is your husband? You're married, right? I remember. Yes, yes. Okay, how is he? Behaving good? Portando no. bien, behaving good? No? Okay, no problem. Okay, guys. Um, today is, you remember what class number? We are going to see a new topic, maybe not new, but we are going to practice with this topic today. <clears throat> what class number uh, do we have? Anybody knows? Anybody knows? Salian Sabe, class, class number. Uh, class is a uh, number 13. 13. Yeah, number 13, because we have four classes for this week, number 13. Okay, guys, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Nice weekend. Did you have a nice weekend? Did you do anything interesting? Went to the movies, to the super? No? No? No uh, trips? Trips? Anybody? Hey, you should have some trips. Go out of the house sometimes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's go directly to the topic so you can see what's about. All right. Let's see. Topic. We are going to check. Ah, okay. This is about these uh, grammar tense. The grammar tense is? Present perfect. Yeah, it is a present perfect. I like this topic because you can talk about uh, experiences you had in the past. Not simple past. This is different. All right. Uh, let's see. Erika, can you read uh, the first uh, sentence that we have? Okay. okay. I, I had visited Costa Rica twice. Okay. I placed this uh, sentence because this this is my experience i have visited costa rica twice in in my life i want to go back to costa rica it's a beautiful country to visit believe it i have visited costa rica twice have you have you visited this country uh, guys anytime have you visited no bitch no? Any? Any of you? No. All right. Uh, what no. about, have you visited uh, Guatemala? Yes. Yes, teacher. So, yes, yes, you have. Okay. Yes, you have. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, what about have you visited the, the neighbor, El Vecino, Nicaragua? Have you visited no. Nicaragua? No, teacher. No? All right. Okay. 
Okay, you have you hadn't ha you haven't had the experience yet, not the needle experience, but maybe in the future. Okay, let's see. This is the topic. Uh, let's see what is next. The question, right? Have you seen in in real? Have you seen this animal? Have you seen? Uh, no, this is not a pelican. No, it's different. Pelican is, is bigger. Yes, on the, on the size, yes. But a, a toucan, have you seen a toucan? Yes, no? Yes. Where, where, where have you? Uh, I am Fresa. Oh, right. In the forest, 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 Fresa. That's right. Okay, very good. I understood your answer, but just a, just a detail. Because the question was, have you seen, a visto? Have you seen a toucan? The answer is with the same present perfect. You can answer using the same tense. The answer was, um, yes, I have. I have seen. Huh? No, I haven't. Ah, in the case, no experience? No, I haven't. Correct. No, I haven't. All right. Very good. No experience? No, <clears throat> no teacher. I haven't. Yes, in the experience, affirmative is? I have seen. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I have seen. seen. That, is, that is the short, the short, the short answer. Correct. But you can say, ah, yes, I have seen. A toucan. All right? That's it. Pretty good. Affirmative yes. and negative. And that's it. Pretty simple. But we have more to take in consideration. Check. Affirmative. Short answer. Yes, I have. Okay. But yes, I have or no, I have it is only for close. Remember the close questions? Remember the close? Close. An open question. Uh, close uh -huh. question. All right, example, yes. Angel. Guys, an example of close question. Any tense, cualquier tense. Close. You can ask anything, any any type of question. Do you have a to come? Oh, no, I don't. I would like to. But it's illegal to have a to come. Yes, it's illegal. But no, I don't. I don't. I have three cats in this house. Three cats. Yes. Pretty good, Angel. Do you have a toucan? Yes or no? Very good. Uh, open question. Example of an open question. Open, open. Information that you need. Uh -huh. Any, any? Open question. Open, open. How many uh, money? How money? All right, oh. it's a small correction because money is uncountable, is not many. How much? Many. All right, yes, that's it. Very good. How much? Finish, finish the question. How much many? No, uh, uh, sorry, uh, how much money? Many. Uh -huh. How much money do you have? Uh, in my pocket. Let me check. Uh, yeah, I have. I have twenty dollars. Lucky, lucky. I'm lucky. I have twenty dollars. I need five. I need five uh, dollars. <laughs> oh, but I can't. I can't send you five dollars. <laughs> it's not uh, possible because I have the the bill in physics. Okay. That's Transaction, yes. A transaction, yes. Yeah. Transaction, yes, of course. <laughs> okay, pretty good. So, Angel gave us two examples. Close question and open question. In the present perfect is the same. You can make open questions and close questions using the present perfect. Okay. And the negative? Mm -hmm. No contraction. No, no I, I have, have not. not. No, I have not. With a contraction. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. 
Okay, very good. Okay, we can continue. Let's see. Uh, help me, please. Uh, tra -ra -ra. Gilbert, hello, Gilbert. Are you attentive to the class? Hello, Close teacher. question. Uh -huh. Hello. Are you attentive to the class, Gilbert? Yes, teacher. Uh, yes. What else? Speak uh -huh. Guys, for the question, are you attentive? What is the answer? The correct answer. Are you attentive? Say hi. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Uh, hello, you hear me, guys? You hear me? ¿Qué pasó, what happened, teacher? I'm sorry, guys. I had a problem with the computer. The thing is that the battery is not working properly. My laptop battery is not good anymore. I need to make a change. Sorry. I need to have it connected. And uh, let's see. Uh, I will tell the the rest of the guys to reconnect. Uh, let's see, please. Okay, I guys, reconnect. Reconnect. Okay. There it is. We are going to wait for them to join again. Sorry, that sometimes happens to me with a laptop. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Someone is uh, okay. There is. Uh, okay. There is Oscar online. Gilbert coming back. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. I'm really sorry because of that. Sorry, guys. I had to disconnect. Fortunately, the computer is not working well, well in this moment. Okay, but we are back. Jorge, hey, Jorge, nice. Nice to see you. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good, good evening, evening. Good uh, evening. guys. Okay, good welcome. Evening. Good evening. Okay, pretty good. Okay, coming back, I'm going to share the <clears throat> the screen again. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's see who I told to help me with the reading with this part. Gilbert, okay. Gilbert, can you read uh, this uh, portion, please? Present perfect. The present perfect is used to describe. Used to describe what? A, an action or situation that starts in the past and continues in the present. I have I have lived in Bristol Science. A, one down sound. A, 984. All right. And I still do. Okay. And I still do. That's right. Thank you. It means 1984. Remember these day, these years we read them by two. The by two. 1984. I have lived in Bristol since 1984. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next, uh, Connie, what what else? In which other case we use a present? Perfect. An action performed perform during a period that has not yet finished. 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 With finished. T. Finished. 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 Thank you. She has been to the cinema this the week. And the week isn't over yet. Okay, she has been uh, to the cinema twice this week. 
and the week isn't over yet. That means that this person can go to the movies again. Okay, number three, three times, four, I don't know. Thank you, thank you so much, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, the next, please, the next one says, Present perfect is for Jacqueline. Yes, yes. Or Ana Lucia, Angel. Present perfect. We use it a, for a repeat, a repeat action in um in specific period between the past and no. now. Uh, we have visited. Uh, visit uh, Portugal several times. Several times. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see. Do we have any? Do we have any other? Yes, we have. Present perfect is as well used mm -hmm. with an action uh, that was coupled in the very recent past, expressed by just. I have just finished my work. Uh, okay, what is this? I have just uh, finished uh, my work. How do I say, como digo? He finalizado uh, mi trabajo. Ah, uh, acabo de, acabo de comer, acabo de ir, uh, acabo de... Acabo de finalizar mi trabajo. Correct. I have just uh, finished my, my homework, my work, etc. That is the phrase. Oh, I'm really sorry, Jacqueline. No problem. Okay. Please uh, try to rejoin when, when you have a good connection. All right, guys. You can read these sentences with, with more time. But let me tell you in a very specific way. Let me open the, the document. Teacher, but what is present perfect? When do I use it? Okay, present perfect. Let's see. What it matters. It matters. Lo que importa. It matters. The experience you you have. Okay. No. No when. The experience is the most important part in general about the present perfect. No when. Why no when? We are going to see that tomorrow. The difference between uh, present perfect and simple past. Okay. But today is only simple present tense. Let me reopen the class. Uh, okay, there it is. Okay, next, next part. Ah, we have one more. Uh, Erika, can you, can you read it or Carmen, maybe? Yes. An action. Yes, uh, I, an action when the time is not important. Uh, he has read war and peace, the result of his reading is important. Okay, what is the important part? What is the important part in the present perfect? That he has read, that he has read the book. Read. How many times? Three, we don't know. Four, no idea. What it matters is what you did in a specific time as an experience, okay? We are going to practice that, no problem. In this part, please uh, help me, Mercedes or Jorge. <laughs> note about the present perfect. Okay. Um, uh, present perfect. When we want to give or ask the detail about when, where we, we use the sample past. Okay, All right. Thanks. When we want to give or ask details about about the time when, 
uh, when did you have your your final graduation party, for example? Where do you live? Who do you live with? Those questions are specifically for the. Oh, cuando the queremos dar una. Past. Simple past. Or for the simple past, yes. When you need precisely information, but when you are talking in the in, with the simple with the present perfect, no necessary because it's different. What it matters is the experience that you have in anything. Let's see. Uh, the sentence says in the present perfect. Okay. I have, I have, visit, I have, I have visited. Uh -huh. Costa Rica twice. 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 Okay. See, this is um expression time that you can use. Twice. I have visited. I have visited Costa Rica twice. Okay. Do I mention the years? The year when I went? Do I mention the year 2001, 2002? Yes or no? Do I mention the, the year? No? Or yes? No. No, no time. No time. The experience is important. It doesn't specify. Check. When. When. That is not important. What is important is that I, I have visited Costa Rica as an experience. In the simple past, is different. The simple past is. I visited I Costa visited. Rica twice last year. Twice. Let's repeat twice. Okay, twice. All right. I have this. I visited. So I visited Costa Rica twice last year. Last year. In this one, I mentioned the a specific time. And besides that, aparte de. No auxiliary, check. Present perfect, the auxiliary is? Mm -hmm. What is the auxiliary? I have a visit. Correct, visited. We are going to check this, no problem. Do I have, uh, let's see, auxiliary for the simple past? Auxiliary? Visited. No, visited is not an auxiliary in the simple past. This is a verb in the simple past form. Simple past, no auxiliary. Present perfect, yes, auxiliary, and the auxiliary is the verb. Have. The verb have. Uh, teacher, so in the sentence says, entonces en la sentence dice, uh, yo tengo visitado Costa Rica twice. Yo Very tengo visitado. No, correct. What do you said? Yes. Lo que dijo, sí. I have visited, yo he Yo he visitado dos veces oh, Ajá. Costa Rica. Correct. Okay, very good. That is the point. Check. Auxiliary. Simple pass, no auxiliary. It gives more details about when the action happened or was done. In this one, yes. And that is pretty much the difference. Let's see uh, a little bit more about this. Okay. How to, how to, mm -hmm. let me hear you. How to form the present perfect. How do we form it? How? Have uh, and has. Us. Have and has. Is, is, is auxiliary for, for the, the present. present perfect. No, no, that's the, normal no. verb have. Yes, this is not. I have three children. I have, let's see, I have a nice computer. I have a, an expensive car. No, this is different because it's present perfect. Okay, so the auxiliaries uh, for the present perfect is number have. one. Have. And number two. And has. And has. That's it. Uh, how do we use them? The subject, I, the I, 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 what is the auxiliary? I have. Uh, I have. Let's see. Ta -da -da. Uh, correct. Have. I have. Mm -hmm. Play. Play. Purchase. 
parches. Parches. Have you have you played uh, parches? <coughs> have you played have you? that game before? Have you played parches? Do you know the the game? No, teacher. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe you don't know the the game by because of the name, parches. Uh -huh. Uh, maybe with a picture, yes. What is parches? Don't you know the, the game? Uh, parches. Uh, this this one, parches. No te enojes. Yeah, don't get mad, correct? <laughs> but th that is not the name. Okay, that is parches. Have you played the parches in the past? Have you? Have you played it? Guys? Mm -hmm. Have you? Have you played parties? Oh, I haven't. No, you haven't. Ah, okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, you have. Okay, pretty good. All right. Remember, I have next for the subject. You. You have. You have. You singular. Have. But remember, one singular and you. Plural. Plural. Okay. Plural. You you have received three weeks of classes, English classes, yes or no? Guys, you have received three weeks of English classes, yes or no? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, I yes. have. Yes, I have. Yes. Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. If it's for you, yes, I have. If it's in group. Yes. yes, yes, we have. Stay. Yes, we, we have. have. Correct. That's we it. Have. Yes, we have because it's group. That's right. All right. We, we have. All right. Played. 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 Part. 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 Finally, finally. They, they have played part. part. Okay, very good. Now, with he, she, and it. What is the auxiliary for he, she, and it? Has. Has. Person. Uh -huh. She has. has. She she has. has. Played parties. Played parties. Played parties. He, he has played parties. He has parties. played parties. Okay. And it the dog, has. for example, the dog? It has played parties. Mm, it, That's it. It has. It has. Played. Correct. Because it's the third person. Remember, it is the third person. We have three subjects for the third person. Okay. Uh, difficult is the present perfect difficult or seems kind of easy? No. Pretty simple and clear, right? Okay. What you need to remember is subject, auxiliary, and we are going to check this. Okay, this teacher. is very important. Ah, yeah, tell me, uh, let's see, who spoke? I have before? I have a question. <laughs> question, yes. Uh, can, um, can if I am not wrong, right? Yes. The meaning can. of have and has is the same of the verb. Uh, 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 the meaning of have and has, the meaning, the meaning. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm, it is. It's All the right. Same. Yeah, it is the same. Okay, but okay, thank you. It teacher. only changes uh, the pronunciation, just uh, very similar, like in Spanish. Ah, yo he comido uh, tres hamburguesas. Tú? Mm -hmm. Tú? I hate eating. Ah, uh, okay. I yo he, yo he comido. I, 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 I have eaten. I have eaten. Ah, okay. I have Eating. I have eating. I have eating. eating. Let's see. I have an oh okay. ING. ING in the present perfect. I yes. have eight. I have eight. Simple past. Ah, good question. Okay, let's see. Okay. To form, can you read this part? It's important. To form. Oops, sorry, sorry. I don't know what's going on with the mouse. To form. To form the present perfect, uh, we need to learn the past participle of regular and irregular verbs. Oh, that is clear. 
we don't use ing in the present perfect in the normal present perfect no ing no simple past all right what all is right. it is it is the past participle past participle. what is the past participle simple what is the verb in the present what what, what is the verb? simple past watch it. Watch watch it. It. Uh, watch it, but with the correct pronunciation, what is Rich. the past? Watch Rich. T Rich. with the letter T at the end. Watched. Okay. And the participle? Watched. 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 The Rich. same. Hey, teacher, but why the same? Because the verb is? Regular. Because the verb is regular. Regular verb. Correct. Uh, examples of regular verbs that you remember besides watch? A. A. Eight. Uh, mm, that is Eight. irregular. Eight. Mm, mm, the eat, the comer. Eat. No, eat is irregular. Play. Play, correct. Play, yes, is regular. What else? Learn. Learned, uh, correct, it's irregular, but right. Mm -hmm. Yes. What else? Okay, that is that is the thing. We are going to check a list. Don't worry, we have a list to check. Okay, what is the, the participle for the regular verbs? We have this one. The verb is in the present. Drink. 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 Simple past. Drunk. 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 The party. Drunk. 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 Correct. Drunk. In this one is different because the verb is irregular. That's why, yes. But remember, present perfect, what is the participle? ED. ED. For the regular verbs. ED. The participle. It's the same than the past. All right? In the irregular, in this case, drunk. 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 Examples of irregular different. verbs. Different. Examples. Mm -hmm. Irregular verbs. Examples. It. It is one. Yes. Any other? Break. Um, uh, when? Break. break. Yes. Break. Which one? Which one, Carmen? Bite. Uh, go. Went. Go, ah, go when, and what is the participle of go? Ah, the list, we need a list, yes. Gone. Go, go, went, and gone, correct, gone. Be That's it. Very good. Okay, uh, help me with this part, uh, please. Da, 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 da. Oscar, Oscar, Guillermo, uh, for the regular verbs. <clears throat> In regular verbs, the same past right. is the right. participle. The difference, the difference when using them is have has, meaning present perfect. If if you see in a sentence, I have watched, uh, let's see, movies. Uh, I, I don't remember any movies in this moment. I have watched. Mickey Mouse. Fast and Furious. Uh, Fast and Furious, yes. I have watched the Fast and Furious. Is that simple past or present perfect? Present. Present perfect. Because I say, I have watched. Yes. If I say, uh, let's see, uh, Carmen, uh, uh, can you read this, please? This part for the regular. Okay, teacher. Um, in a regular verse, the participle of the verb changing many of the, the three forms to form the present perfect, focus on the third form. Okay, the third form. See, it is in a square for you not to be lost. Participle is number three. Regular in number three, same as the past. All right. 
clear or not clear about the participle? We are going to practice, don't worry. Questions? Clear. Questions, questions, doubts? Doubts? Mm -hmm. Questions? Maybe we need practice. Yes, teacher, we need to practice. Okay. It's important, guys, that you review. You don't need to memorize because memorizing is not a good practice most of the times. The practice is practice. Check. In this list, you have the regular verbs, many of them. Check. Uh, you have Present? Chair. Chair. Past Shirt. tense, we don't need Shirt. it. But Shirt. It, Shirt. Yes, shared. But the past tense is the same past participle. What is uh, yeah, yeah. the past participle of add? Um, added. 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 Okay. In, this, in this part, we need to remember the rules about pronunciation in the simple past for the regulars. Yeah, but that is practice, don't worry. Uh, example, uh, let's see, allow. What is the participle of allow? Allow it. No. Allowed, uh, D, with no. D. Allow. No. Participle of uh, ask? Ask it. Ask it. Ask. 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 Asked. asked with T, letter T. Asked. Asked, correct, yes. Asked. That is the way, as yes, correct. And we can continue checking, see? ED, ED, the participle, ED, all of them, ED, ED, because they are regular. Uh, in the next part, the next list is, or we can find the, Irregular verbs. This is different because many of them change. For example, the verb? Be. 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 The verb to be? What is the participle of the verb to be? Been. 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 Ah, all right. How do I say? Ah, yo he estado bien preocupado estos últimos días. <clears throat> Teacher in English. Yes, in English. I have huh? been. I have Correct. been um, uh -huh. preoccupied. 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 It's not preoccupied. But you were correct in the first part. Subject. Mm -hmm. I, I have been. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Auxiliary have. Correct. Next. Be. The be. participle. Uh -huh. the, participle. the participle of the verb be. Been. Been in the complement. What is the complement? Preoccupied. Oh. No. Uh huh. I have been worried, worried. these past days. Correct. All right. Examples. Can you try out any example? An affirmative. All of them affirmative. 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 Try one. Try one, please. Give one, one example. Present, perfect, affirmative. Any subject, cualquier subject, uh, Lucila, my father, the kangaroos, etc. I have asked. I have asked. Uh -huh. asked. I have asked. Ask for my family. For my family. To, to, to my, I don't know, to my sister, maybe. Sister. Yeah, any, so, any compliment, correct. Okay, very good, that's it. I have, she, for example, one. She has. She has. Uh-huh. She has. She has, she has, uh -huh. she she has, has uh, heard. Mm -hmm. No, teacher. Dolor de cabeza. Ah, oh, I understood mm -hmm. oh, incorrectly. <laughs> she, she has. She has. Uh, 
Ah, ah but check, remember. Si sí. quiere decir que haya tenido un dolor de cabeza. Haya tenido. Ajá. What is... Ajá. What is this? Dolor. What is this? This word. Auxiliar. Sí. The auxiliar. In this word? Verse. Past, past. In the simple past form, correct, yes. He has had a terrible... Mm -hmm. Dolor de cabeza in English? Headache. Headache. Headache, Headache. yes. Headache. No headache. Headache, no. <laughs> He is a headache. 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 Yes, it. It. all right, very good, that's it. Those are uh, correct sentences with the present verb. Okay, but check, you need to practice with the, with the past participle. If you don't learn the past participle, it's kind of difficult, but I know that you can do it. You can practice with the participle. Hey, teacher, but I see, check. Cut. What is this verb? Cut. Uh huh. Cut. Cut. What is cut? cut? Cortar. 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 Uh, simple past. Cut. Cortar. Cut. 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 Participle. Cortado. Cortando. Cut. 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 The same for Present. Cut. cut. It's same. Past. Cut. Participle. Cut. Participle. Cortado. Diga. <laughs> Tell me, me corto el cabello. I cut. Dice, me corto el cabello. I have. I cure. I. Me corto, yo me corto el cabello todos los días. Subject, verb, complement. I have cut my hair. Ah, entonces hubiera dicho en, en español, yo me he cortado el cabello. Uh -huh. I cut my hair. Every, every, day. every day. Correct. Ajá, me corté el cabello ayer. In English. I, I cut my hair yesterday. yesterday. I correct. I cut my hair yesterday. Yesterday. Y How do I say, como digo, me he cortado el cabello tres veces? I have cut. I have cut. Three times. My hair three times. My hair three times. times. What is the difference? In the verb, no difference. Pronunciation, if you see, is the same. Auxiliary. Cut. 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 Teacher, how do I know which is the correct tense? ¿Cómo sé cuál es? ¿Qué tiempo es? Read. Read carefully everything. Lea todo. A subject, a, I have a verb, complement, and every day. What is every day? Mm -hmm. Todos los días. Cada, todos los días. Compliment. I'm expression in the simple present. Compliment. I'm expression in the simple press and every day, todos los días. Is now, yesterday, or in the future? Past. No, it's now. In this present. Moment. In the present, correct. Every ah, day. In the past, what is what tells me that is the past? ¿Qué me dice que es el past? Simple past. Yesterday. yesterday. Correct. That's yesterday. it. Yes. Expression time, but in the past. And what tells me that is the present perfect? ¿Qué me dice que es el present perfect? El auxiliar. The auxiliar. Have. Correct, yes. I have. In the party. Have. Got. My hair three times. Check. No, no specific time. No yesterday. No tomorrow. No today. That is how you can see what is the tense. All right. But you have to be. Careful about the reading. Read everything. Lea todo. Okay? In that way. Okay, very good. Let's see what else, what else. Good tip or no good tip? Buen tip or no? Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. 
Good. It is. It is. That is a scanning. A veces se le dice scanning. Cuando, ah, let me see. Ta, 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 subject, very complement. Subject, auxiliary, participle, complement. Yes. Okay. Let's see. What else? What else do we have about this topic? Besides the list, guys, you have the lists in the presentation. There they are. Ahí está. The links. Present perfect. Uh, let's see. Ah, can you read it, guys? How do I say simple past? Vi un fantasma anoche. How do I say that in English? And sorry. I see a huh? I see a ghost last night. I see. I see a ghost uh, last night. I see a ghost. Um, I saw. I saw. Hmm. Ah, okay. Si dice I see, that is simple present. Huh? But here it says, pero aquí está. I see, so. Past, simple past, pasado. Uh -huh. And anoche, in English? Last night. Complete? I see, I saw a ghost last night. Last night, correct. Okay, very good. Simple past, check. Last night, simple past. Expression time in simple past. Next, next, next. Um, there it is. Check. It is correct. Next part. How do I say, como digo, in present, present perfect. perfect? Present perfect. He visto un fantasma. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Gasparín. I have seen. Correct. I have seen. A ghost. Oh. A ghost. A ghost. That's right. Very good. Present perfect Y auxiliary. In. In. What is this? Past participle. The past participle of the verb ski. That's it. Very good. Okay. Next, next, next part. Next part. Okay, let's practice uh, with these two links. They are practices. We are going to try out. Let me see. Uh, Jorge, Jorge Morales, can you place in order this sentence in the present perfect? Hi. Um, uh, I have um, a newspaper. Um, okay, they are disorganized. The purpose oh, okay. is that you make affirmative sentences in the present perfect. Okay, we have a. Uh huh. All right. Uh, read the news paper today. Very good. That's it. Just a detail, just a small detail. The pronunciation in the participle. What is the participle of read? Real. Read, yes. Participle of read. Mm. Let's check. Read. There it is. Read. 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 Simple, simple past. Read. Regular verbs. Read. Regular. Is is regular verb. It's irregular, yes. Participle. Red. Hmm? Read. Red. Present. Read. Read. Okay. Participle. Red. 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 Like the color. is different. Uh -huh. It's different, yes. Like the color, red. Do you like, Do you like red in colors? Maybe oh, not. Okay. okay. But make association. <laughs> Participle of read, ah, red like the color, red, red, red. And that we would be it. Red. Yes. Guys, okay. in the okay. participle, yes, is different pronunciation in the regular and irregular. That's it. But yes, the sentence is correct. We? Thank you, teacher. Uh, inter interesting. Uh, uh, this bear. All right. Okay, don't forget that I have this this piece of this uh, piece of cloth. 
that is check is red. 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 We have red. Red. The newspaper. Red. The newspaper today. Okay, pretty good. Let's see uh tra -ra -ra, Mercedes or uh, JC. JC or Mercedes. This next one. They have yeah, yep, they homework haven't finished yeah. the Ah, okay, but check. This is not complicated. This is only the negative. Tomorrow we can check negative sentences, but not complicated. It's only about adding not to the affirmative, and that's it. They haven't. They haven't. Correct. They haven't. Next. Finished. 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 Correct. With letter T. Letter They're... T. The pronunciation. Yes. Their They're... homework yet. Their homework yet. Ah, uh, tomorrow or maybe the day the day after tomorrow we are going to study. Teacher, what is the meaning of yet? But not in this class. It would be tomorrow or the next class on Wednesday. Next, next, next. What is the next one? He. He. May. He may. He has. He has. He, has. he, he may. Has. See, he has. He has okay. made a oh, new has. friend oh, today. All right. Don't forget the auxiliary. Yes, because it is a third person, number one. It is auxiliary, number two. Has yes. made, made a yes, new made friend a, today. A new friend today. Friend today. Pretty good. That's it. Correct. What yeah. about this one, guys? Gilbert, uh, Connie, uh -huh. you can participate reading in completing the sentence. My uh, uncle. My uncle. That's right. My uncle has never has seen oh. a, dolphin. a dolphin. Okay, pretty good. Check. Nice. That's nice. All right. Pretty good. It's kind of negative without not. Next. Ah, question. In another class, we are going to study how to make questions, but you can try to make this question with the present perfect, not complicated. It's only inverting instead of the subject, you place the auxiliary in the first place, the auxiliary. What is the auxiliary? Present perfect? How? How? How, how you work? ever? Correct, yes. How you ever? Huh? How? Have you ah we are going to study questions with ever. How you Have ever? you ever? Flown. 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 Are you sure that it's flown? Flown. Mm -hmm. Have you ever? Okay. Aha, check pronunciation in the list. Have you flown. ever flown? In yes, correct. Helicopter. Have you ever flown? In a helicopter. Uh, in Helicopter? Hey, have helicopter. you ever flown in, in, in an helicopter? Yes, no? No, right, kind of difficult. All yes. right, next, next. Have you, you have. You have, you have, you have. You have, you have uh, no question mark, guys. Yes, no if question you, mark. If you no see question mark, is not a you question. Uh -huh. Simple. You have, you have, you have right, written. You have writing, 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 writing. 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 Ah, writing. let's check. Uh, check in the list. Present. Right. 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 Last. Wrote. Writing. Writing. Wrote. Written. Writing. Participle. Written. 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 Written, written or written. 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 No problem. Yes. Written. Correct. That's it? Written. Okay. Written. Check. Uh, pronunciation. Written. Written. 
written. Uh -huh. Two postcards Two. today. Two postcards today. Ah, uh, teacher, but why today? Today is expression time in the present. Yes. But you can you can write another one. You can write three, four, five, six. No problem. Okay, guys. Uh, the time is over. Time is over, guys. Tomorrow we are going to continue studying about this topic. We have more to study about present perfect. You have these practices in the links and exercises so you can practice with all of them. Okay? okay. Um, guys, uh, thank you for joining to the class. First day. Hey, teacher, thank you. To you. Hey, Good teacher. night. Thank you, teacher. Good, Good night. night. Thank you, guys. Good, Good to night. See you. Good night. Uh, see you, bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Sure. Okay, see you tomorrow. teacher. See you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good bye night. bye. Have a good night too. Thank you.